Almost seven years ago, I gave a presentation that is more pertinent today, right now, than it was the day I gave it. If you watch it, it'll give you uh, an understanding of what is happening right now in the world and, more importantly, why it is happening. But first, we need to step back a second and we need to all realize that we are all being manipulated by the mainstream media, by big tech. We are all being manipulated all of the time. And to reduce the amount of manipulation that the manipulators can accomplish with us personally, uh, we need to look at both sides of the narrative. We need to look at both sides of the official propaganda. There is propaganda that comes out of the East and the West. And then the media repeats this propaganda, refines this propaganda, and just pounds away at your brain with this propaganda. And they mold your opinions. So in order not to have our opinions molded by others, uh, looking at both sides of the official propaganda, and then you strip out the differences. What, what are they saying? What are they saying? And you look at the commonality in there, you're going to find the foundation, the root causes, what, what it is that is creating the situation. And then you can boil that down to facts and to data. And if you let your opinion be created from the facts and data, you are much less likely to be molded by the mass media, by big tech. You don't want to be clay in their hands and have your opinions uh, just an echo of what they want it to be. So don't let your, never let your emotions overwhelm you. When you let your emotions guide you, that's when you are putty in their hands. Now, humanity's big downfall is the follow the leader mentality. And uh, we, we do this follow the leader mentality to evade the burden of self-responsibility. Being responsible for yourself and all of your choices, this is a big burden. And if we elect a leader to tell us how to live and to guide us and to protect us and so on, that uh, alleviates a lot of the responsibility that we would have to take on if we were fully responsible for ourselves. And so uh, to gain power and to maintain power, these leaders have to keep us afraid all of the time. Look at what is happening. This is accelerating now very rapidly. It goes from one thing to another thing to another thing that is keeping us afraid. And usually, it's another leader. You know, for the past couple of years, it's been a virus. It's been this. It's been that. It's been the economy. Uh, now, once again, it's another leader. And let's fa face it. Every country, every government is just another gang. This is the sharks and the jets. If you're from Los Angeles, it's the Crips and the Bloods. These are just gangs having their turf wars. And these leaders are posturing against one another uh, you know, and, and uh, making these bold statements and stuff. And they're whipping up a frenzy and trying to make us all afraid so they can get us to go along because that is how they gain and maintain power. But it's dangerous. We can follow them into an abyss, whether it be a financial collapse that brings on a modern dark age or the complete demise of humanity due to nuclear war. It will be self-inflicted. We are responsible, you are responsible, I am responsible for it. Because it is our follow the leader mentality that allows this. So we all need to take responsibility. Uh, it's time to sort of step back and gain perspective. One of the things I'm going to do right after this is I'm going to listen to Donovan's version of Universal Soldier. Now, a lot of people today won't even recognize or know that song, but this is very important. And when you listen to it this time around, substitute for soldier the word voter, universal voter, universal follower, and don't be one of them. It is, we are the ones that are to blame. So again, step back and try and gain perspective. Another way that you can do that, and probably the most important way, is watch Carl Sagan's 
pale blue dot. This is one of the most important things ever written. It's one of the most important things ever uh, put down to tape. It's one of the most important videos ever made. I like this uh, particular one, the, the best speech about humanity, Carl Sagan. Uh, it's, this one is five and a half minutes long. Uh, it has an end glued onto it. If you want it to be shorter, find a different one. It'll be, it'll be four or four and a half minutes long. But do yourself a favor. Watch this every morning for the next week. First thing, watch Pale Blue Dot, and it will truly give you a sense of perspective. So what's going on? The Russian ruble uh, dropped, had this huge drop this morning. Uh, way, way down. This is a six-month chart. Here's one year. Here's two years. Here's five years of the Russian ruble. And you can see what has happened uh, this morning here. Uh, if we move on, uh, Russia more than doubles interest rates to 20% to halt ruble collapse. Suspends stock trading on Mos Moscow exchange. Moving on more. U.S. banks prepare for cyber attacks after latest Russia sanctions. Now, we recently had uh, um, some games, like war games, where they're rehearsing. What would we do in a cyber attack? Remember that just before the pandemic, we had uh, games of, of how to handle a pandemic. That happened just before a real pandemic. So, uh, you know, this is something that we've been warning about for quite a while. I warned about it in my early warning back in 2018, which is quite early. Uh, moving on, uh, Zoltan Pozar warns of, he's from Swiss, uh, Credit Suisse. Zoltan Pozar of Credit Suisse warns of another Lehman weekend as Russia sanctions may trigger central bank liquidity flood. Now, this could play out over the next few days, but we have to get prepared for what is coming, whatever it may be. You know, they may resolve this in the next couple of days, and they can. There is a way. Uh, but down in the middle of this article, I want to show you something. He defines, basically does the same thing that I do, defining the difference between currency and money, but he calls it two different forms of money. As Posar explains in a quick crash course on moneyness, he's really talking about currenciness here, central bank deposits, bank deposits, and securities are all inside money. He's talking about currency. That is, money and money-like claims that are someone else's liability. In other words, if it's currency, that country that issued the currency has to exist for the currency to be, have any value whatsoever. The currency is created when the, uh, the central bank buys bonds from that country. The bonds, if you're a bond investor, only has value if that country exists to tax its pop population in the future to make the payments on that bond. And, uh, and then securities are a claim on a percentage of ownership of that company. And if the company goes bankrupt, the security is worthless. So all of these uh, are claims that are someone else's liability. It takes two parties for it to function. You, the holder of this basic IOU, because that's what all of it is, the, the securities are on IOU for a percentage of that company. So you and the counterparty, the government or that company. And it is situations like uh, this that we are in right now when outside money, meaning real money, uh, money claims like gold bullion that is no one's liability is king. And it's always been king, it always will be king. It, it's only in these very stressful situations uh, that uh, everybody remembers. Oh. Cash is king unless a government defaults, then gold is king. It's the final thing that, that you run to. Now, here's a great article that I hope everybody reads. Experts warned for years that NATO expansion would lead to this. And there is a solution out there, and it's a, a fairly easy solution. But we're not going to get to it quickly. Hopefully, the world doesn't go down some very bad roads in the meantime. Uh, but uh, read this article. And then, uh, the, you know, back in my early warning presentation in 2018, I said the risks are trade wars. Well, we're there. We're already doing trade wars. Currency wars. Well, we're there. We're already doing it. 
World War E. That was what I dubbed the threat of cybersecurity t- attacks. World War E. World War Three. You know, Russia elevated their uh, their readiness, their their the uh, risk, and so they are now ready for the nuclear option if that uh, is what it comes to. And artificial intelligence. Those were the risks. But I would really like you to go and watch uh, my video on. Uh, why Russia feels surrounded, and it's got some maps in it, and it's got two mistakes, and I apologize for this. You have no idea how much I agonize over creating or propagating misinformation. This is something I do not want to do. I've made hundreds and hundreds of presentations. No two of them are alike. Sometimes I will review some old material and update it, but all of my presentations are unique, there are a lot of work. This one especially was a lot of work with my art department going back and forth and back and forth on these maps showing the progression of what happened since World War II. And borders keep on changing and names keep on changing, but I had to make this map have some sort of continuity to it. And in the process of creating all of the slides for my presentation, a couple of mistakes were made. One is that a frame got dropped. This shows the progression of NATO from World War II. We go back to World War II here. You've got the USSR and the Eastern Bloc countries, the Warsaw Pact. And then along comes the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Uh, And I don't show the US and Canada in here. It's a zooming in on Europe that started in 49. But the frame that got dropped You know, I show uh, uh, we're here at 1990, and the frame that got dropped was a very important one, 1991, the dissolution of the USSR. And that frame, when it got dropped, I'm dyslexic. When I make my uh, presentations, you'll notice that almost all my presentations contain no words in the slide. If it does contain words, Uh, The words wipe in as I'm reading them so that nobody reads ahead. When you're making a presentation, if somebody's reading text while you're talking, there's two voices going on in their their head, their own reading the text and yours, and comprehension goes way down. If you read the text as it's being wiped in, comprehension goes way up, but it's best to have pictures but these pictures guide me. So I'm doing all of this on the fly. I'm trying to tell us a story and make associations and remember what I was going to talk about by the picture that comes on the screen. When 1991 accidentally got dropped, the fall of the Soviet Union got dropped also. And so I said that that was in 1999. I apologize for it. Ignore it. There's one other mistake. And that mistake is that Moscow is actually located up about here, about halfway up toward that R in Russia, almost equal with the top of Belarus. And so those two things are the mistakes in this video that I hope you watch and enjoy, but more importantly, I hope it gives you an understanding of the root cause of what is going on right now in the world, because it should give you a different insight. And then after that, you know, I just discovered about uh, a week or two ago, this marvelous video that is going viral right now, also recorded in 2015. And this is Professor John Mearsheimer. uh, And he's showing why the Ukraine is the West's fault. The problems that are going on is something that seeds that have been planted year after year after year for many, many years, Watch this video and you'll understand it. At the end of this video, there will be a link to my video. At the end of that one, there will uh, be a link to this video. So watch Pale Blue Dot every morning. Gain some perspective. As you gain that perspective, try to help others. Uh, Try to help others be less manipulated. Try to help, uh, you know, you you can be a part of the solution instead of being part of the problem. You could write letters to the so-called leaders, uh, and you can also help guide other people. Whenever somebody's talking about the Ukraine or about the current crisis that the world finds itself in, uh, step back, 
Try to help them gain perspe perspective. Try to show them how they could see both sides and make up their own mind on this instead of being uh, guided by mass media and big tech. So uh, I hope that everybody just steps back, takes a breath, gains some perspective, and we come out of this thing on the good side. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.